Hello everyone, it's Mary. Welcome back to the channel. We are going to be making some super easy gifts or just some decor for your house. I found this online and I thought, wow, this is so simple. And so I wanted to share it with everybody. So I'm going to be making marble mugs using nail polish. Very simple. Now, there's a couple things throughout this video. I'll tell you some tips and tricks that I learned along the way. Um, so maybe it could save you from making the same mistakes. Uh, but what I'm doing here is pulling out a big bowl that I lined with a garbage bag for easy cleanup. And then I have my uh, trusty assistant here, Adia. She's helping me pick out some colors for the first round. So we got these three colors right here, ready to go. This is some uh, less expensive, but not Dollar Tree uh, nail polish. Um, oh, and there's Adia. <laughs> she did that without me looking. Uh, a little cameo. Uh, but it was not expensive, and I have so much nail polish because in this quarantine life, I have become obsessed with painting my nails. And so I thought, let me just not let this dry up on its own. I'll have some fun with it. We wanted to make some really cheap gifts. So right here, I am just dripping it in. Now you can go in circular motions and it might be a little bit easier to get this sort of flower marble look. And I think this is probably the best one that came out for the marble image on the mug. This is a mug from the Dollar Tree. So $1 for the mug, $2 for this nail polish, but you can get Dollar Tree nail polish. You can make these gifts less than $3. So you're just gonna dip it in and then pull it back up. You want to make sure that you dip the mug in at the angle you want the best image. And I say that because if you try to go back and do it, get some more and pick up some more on other parts of the mug, it's not going to look as clean. And so that is something that we learned along the way. Okay, let's move on to some more things that we learned. So we're going through and we're adding our next bout of color. We are gonna throw in some glitter nail polish here. Now, gl different glitter nail polishes will respond differently because they uh, some will separate your color and some will just lay on top and, and you really don't notice a difference. But we're struggling a little bit to get that flower image right here because we didn't clean the bowl after the first round. Once you're done dipping and you're not going to um, put another one straight in, clean out that nail polish. And it's very simple. You just take your poker tool or any kind of, you know, um, popsicle stick or anything like that, and it'll just stick right to the, the popsicle stick and you can pull out the remnants of that color. So do that. Get a clean surface before you do your next dip because I think that's going to give you the cleanest look. So this one right here, we were going for some fall colors for my sister. We, she loves fall. We thought this would be really good for her. And so we're just dropping in a whole bunch of colors. There was a little bit of blue left over in that from the other uh, one we did. And so you're going to see that some of these mugs have uh, other colors that were uninvited <laughs> on the mug. And so I'm going to show you how to clean that up later. I did want to mention that the water is room temperature. It's not cold, it's not hot, uh, it's just lukewarm and or room temperature. And um, that was, I think, an important feature as well. Right here, I kept dipping back and forth. When you do that, you get a different look. And I wanted to get sort of like a splattered painty look. Um, I would have loved to have another marble look because I thought that looked really great. But you can do other things too. If you continuously dip one over the other, you're going to get sort of like a layered splatter look. So we're moving on to the next one, and I don't even think we learned our lesson quite yet about cleaning out the surface. Uh, that happened a little bit later on, but we're going to add a whole bunch of colors here, and we're not even going to go in any kind of circular motion. We're just going to lay it in there. We didn't even do the, the flower uh, image to get the marble. Like I said, that will give you probably the best marble look. This right here, though, I loved how Adia dipped the handle in there. I thought that was so awesome. So you're going to see close-ups of these uh, in a little bit, but just that color, oh, the color mix of these, brilliant. Also, I would highly recommend you remove your stickers first because I did not like the sticker look on the bottom of my mug, uh, but that is forever going to stay there because I'll show you how we seal them later. Okay, let's get into the next one here. This is just some gold glitter that has stars in it, or silver glitter, and some yellow nail polish that is a little bit shimmery. My mother loves yellow, and I thought this was perfect for her, and so we dipped it, and again, you'll see there's a little blue spot on there, very easy to clean up. So we get this dipped, and then I'm just like loving the stars. The stars are 
so pretty and they're just stuck to the mug. So that was a really unexpected type of uh, look. I didn't think that the stars would would really show up. I don't know. I don't know what I was thinking. This was why it was so fun. <laughs> you just got to get in there and experiment. So here I'm doing some for my husband and son and you can see we got went too far in and we got the water inside the mug. We'll clean that up. No big deal. Uh, but we did get a nice marble on these two colors. I love the color mix of those silver, blue and green or yellow. So that was a lot of fun also. Okay, so I'm going to show you a little bit of the close-ups before we seal them. One thing I will tell you, very strong message here, this is very fumey. So I would highly recommend if you have sort of an outdoor area to do this in, that would be the best optimal way to do it. I had all my windows open, but it was just so many nail polishes opened at once. And it was just very, very, we had to quit and come back later because it was really, really a lot of fumes. So I would definitely caution you to do that. Make sure you are in the garage with the door open or, you know, whatever outside. I know it's winter, but just wanted to let you know that because, yeah, it was a lot. So, okay, I'm just showing you through the mugs real quick right here. And I'm just going to, these are just a real quick view. You'll see uh, what we do next is going to clean them up because I got some uh, paint and nail polish in areas I didn't want. So I took just this uh, cotton swab here or cotton pad and I dipped it into some nail polish remover. I cleaned inside the mug where the obvious things were the obvious mistakes but then I also went around and if you wanted to do a straight line or clean up really get a really crisp line you can do that with this nail polish remover um, it's it's up to you however you want to do that because it'll remove it very easily but I don't want it to be removed I want to make sure it's sealed in for life and so I am going to mod podge it so right here I'm just taking a sponge paintbrush and I am just placing the Mod Podge on it. Now I got smarter later on, I didn't show you this, but I just stuck my hand inside the mug with my left hand and that held it. This way it freed up the uh, surface for me to paint. So I would recommend doing it that way. Go in straight lines. I started from, I did the bottom first and then I just went up and down very straight because you will see a little bit of the streaks from the Mod Podge. And so in my opinion, if you know a better way, please pop it down below because I did see a little bit of streaking. I would love not to see streaking. So maybe, maybe if you sponge it on, I don't know, I'd have to give that a shot. But this was a lot of fun. I liked um, the, the final look of it. It was just clear and it will seal it. So what I would recommend and what I've heard is not to put these in your dishwasher for about 30 days, let them cure um, really well and cure, cure. <laughs> I don't think they're sick. Um, cure, I guess that's the word. Anyway, uh, just don't put them in the dishwasher for 30 days and then you should be good to go. Thank you so much for stopping by and for hanging out with me. I hope this was fun and got you inspired to try something new, something very inexpensive uh, for your home or for a gift for someone else. And I will see you all in the next video. Bye-bye.